New York City Mayor Eric Adams can no longer pretend to believe the Democrat position on immigration after experiencing the demographic changes firsthand. Never in my life have I had a problem that I did not see an ending to. I don't see an ending to this. I don't see an ending to this. This issue will destroy New York City. Destroy New York City. We're getting 10,000 migrants a month. One time we were just getting Venezuela. Now we're getting Ecuador. Now we're getting Russian speaking coming through Mexico. Now we're getting uh, Western Africa. Now we're getting people from all over the globe have made their minds up that they're going to come through the southern part of the border and come into New York City. 10,000 a month, huh? Well, just imagine what a quarter million a month is doing to the United States as a whole. This from NBC News. Migrant border crossings in 2022 topped 2.76 million. That's 230,000 a month. This, I'm sure, is on the front page of the New York Times. This is their web version. In escalation, Adam says migrant crisis will destroy New York City. I'm sure the ADL is crafting a statement right now denouncing him as a white supremacist. And the last point I would say, caravan, open borders. These are literally white supremacist phrases. <laughs> What's even funnier is this meme, made by mostly peaceful memes, showing Eric Adams transforming into the Nazi in American History X. When they send you a few buses of the illegal immigrants you said you wanted, and he did say he wanted him. This is from when he was running for mayor. We should protect our immigrants, period, he said. Yes, New York City will remain a sanctuary city under an Adams administration. <laughs> At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if he does the same thing that the residents of Martha's Vineyard did and round them all up and ship them out. Of course, this is a major part of the Democrats' plan to finalize the Une Erdway Order, A. Eh? <laughs> it's against YouTube's policies now to talk about the Une Erdway Order, A. Eh? So, gonna have to speak in Pig Latin at times to avoid the censors, but old Joe was quite open about his plan. What I would do as president is several more things, because things have changed. I would, in fact, make sure that there is, we immediately surge to the border. All those people are seeking asylum. They deserve to be heard. That's who we are. Yes, then they rubber stamp their green cards, basically giving them amnesty by issuing them a court date 10 years in the future. But don't worry, Americans, 2 million illegal aliens crossing the border in just one year means that the border is secure. We're going to have 2 million people cross this border for the first time ever. You're confident this border is secure? We have a secure border <laughs> in that that is a priority for any nation, including ours and our administration. And now they don't even want you calling them what they are. For anybody who may have been offended by the term that was used by our guest of Steve Patterson, he talked about illegal aliens. Of course, that's not the vernacular we use. It's Und undocumented workers, right, right. so I want to I'll reiterate that. Um, that having been... Of course, the truth is offensive to Democrats. And the neocons, the rhinos, the Republican establishment favor Nikki Haley over Ron DeSantis as a challenger to Donald Trump because, well, she'll get us back involved in those endless wars in the Middle East and the one brewing over in Eastern Europe. Nikki Haley is the only GOP presidential candidate to decisively beat Joe Biden in a new poll. <laughs> Nikki Haley team blasts DeSantis and Ramaswamy as Trump light. Well, we certainly don't want Trump light. We want Trump 2.0. We want ultra MAGA, not this. I want to learn and from those and apply you, those to protect it's our not homeland, that Nikki. Israel that needs is the answer. America, America needs on? Israel. Okay. That was her during the debate a few weeks ago, spewing the most ridiculous lie of the evening. I want to learn and from those and apply you, those to protect it's our not homeland, that Nikki. Israel that needs is the America. answer. America, America needs on? Israel. Yeah, okay. What she means is they want or probably need America's help if or when the globalists decide to attack Iran. <laughs> Just like they needed us to protect them from Saddam Hussein, which is one of the reasons why we invaded Iraq. It wasn't just to take their oil. There were other reasons at play as well. So expect the fake news industrial complex to start pumping up Nikki Haley like this puff piece. Nikki Haley is starting to look like a real threat to Donald Trump. 
the establishment is panicking because they expected all of those indictments to totally tank his support. But of course, it's only increased it. And so now they're filing lawsuits trying to remove his name from the ballot because, you know, depriving the Americans of the right to vote for the candidate that they want to be president is saving our democracy, they say. And yes, I know we live in a constitutional republic, not a democracy. Democracy is two wolves and a sheep voting on what's for dinner, but we're just using their terminology against them. I'm starting to wonder if we may have a brokered convention next November. You may recall that they were talking about this, the Republican establishment. We're actually hoping for this in 2016, but Donald Trump got the necessary delegates in order to win the nomination. But if Ron DeSantis, Nikki Haley, and Vivek Ramaswamy could siphon off enough votes from him so he doesn't have the delegates come convention time, then of course they're going to use that tactic to try to steal the nomination from him that way. Buckle up, because by that time, and nobody wants to think about this yet, but by that time, he may actually be convicted and sentenced. I doubt if he gets convicted, they're going to sentence him to actual prison. It would be house arrest. If he gets convicted, one of the first trials is coming up in March of next year. So they're going to try to get a plea agreement to try to get him to drop out. He probably never will. So he may actually have to finish running the race on house arrest from Mar-a-Lago. I am and always have been Trump or bust. And at this point, with everything that they're trying to do to take him down, voting for any of the other Republicans is basically siding with the Marxist Democrats. I will go down with the Trump ship. I'm not fleeing like a rat because the rats who flee are only going to drown first. And if you're on board, order your Wanted for President shirt from my online store at markdice.com or click the link in the description below. Of course, it has been updated with the authentic Donald Trump mug shot. The original shirt was one of the greatest designs, and now this is by far the greatest t-shirt ever made. So order yours from my online store at markdice.com or click the link in the description below and check them out.